Hello, everybody. It's Whiskey11 with Whiskey's Gaming Lounge, and welcome back for more Silent Hunter 4 action. And we're going to pick up where we left off in the previous episode at the very end of this. We had just launched an attack on the Mogami that was in this task force. Uh, put three torpedoes into the side of her, but she's still afloat. Uh, when we finished off, the last of the destroyer escorts was moving out and away. We were on the one edge of the whole task force in the clear. So let's see if we can't sink the sucker now. It's going to be a challenge because we have to get back in there. And like I said, I don't know if the Mogami herself is actually dead in the water, meaning no propulsion. In which case, this fleet will slowly leave her, which means we can come back around and we can sink her the good old-fashioned way with, without too much risk. Or are they, uh... Or is she under power? Like, is she going to be repaired by the time they get up and leave again? It would be extremely nice to have the opportunity to put a fourth torpedo into her and hopefully sink her. Because right now, she is just... Oh, she's starting to move again, so I don't think she's completely dead in the water. She can't... Yeah, she's not dead. She's just creeping. So that means that we've got to do... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Why, hello there. <laughs> um, those are destroyers. And I legit thought that, uh, you know, we might might have gotten away with the scot-free, but apparently this is not the case. At this point, they know there's a submarine back here somewhere. So, I mean, maybe the best course of action is for us to just disengage and re-engage the fleet differently. I don't know. I mean, we can keep trying to work our way back around north and see what happens. I mean, the their whole fleet is really discombobulated right now. So their fleet is to the north, just to the northwest of us. We got a little over 90 degrees to keep going to, to get to the Mogami here. At least I think. Yeah, it's about 45, 90. Yeah, so it's, it's off to our 90. I think it's still too far away for us to do like a pop shot and, uh, you know, the furthest warships that are actually, you know, putting stuff out are about 5k. Some of the closer... Closer merchant ships are about 3,500. So, I mean, we've, we've got... Let's see, what's the closest merchant ship? Uh, closest merchant ship is right by the Mogami. In fact, those are the only merchant ships that are nearby. This might, we, we might actually be okay. We'll, we'll keep... Uh, We'll keep on the warpath here and see what happens. Oh, jeez, there's going to be an Otago in the way. We will definitely have to wait for that to clear up because, uh, obviously we can't do anything with the Otago between us and the Mogami. That's the other thing that's really kind of frustrating, too, is we, we haven't... Because I don't have the map markers enabled, you know, underwater, and I don't have anything else spotting this, I can't tell what's what on this. The black lines are, are rough locations of merchants, so we know that somewhere in this area is going to be our Mogami, and like I said, she's we have 3,500 yards. That's our range. So we are really close to being able to get a firing solution. We just got to get the ship turned hopefully without attracting too much attention to ourselves looks like the destroyer escorts like i said have pretty much called off their hunt down to the south i think they've pretty much guesstimated that i'm dead or gone faulty assumption on their part 
The game is claiming our CO2 levels are high. They're not. Not even close. Okay, so that's going to be a close warship. The closest warship to us is that guy. Plus we have... Yeah, so this is going to be this is going to be the Otago. This is going to be the destroyer. Those three merchants are going to be at the yeah. So the two merchants, yeah. So there's like a whole cluster of merchants right here. So this is our our target right there. Somewhere in this range. We got a ways to go to close that gap. We got a d destroyer that's creeping close. And the destroyer has... Ooh, wow. Yeah, she, she moves in mysterious ways over there. Baron, oh, Jesus. Keep hunting ghosts. Keep 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 the left rudder up. <laughs> let's go look at the let's go look at the Mogami. It was really frustrating. You put three three torpedoes into a Mogami, generally speaking, they go under. These are the lighter warheads of the Mark 10s, so the Mark 10 doesn't quite have the destructive power of the Mark 14, but it also doesn't have the reliability issues of the Mark 14. So in a lot of a lot of cases, that's um to our advantage. But uh, we definitely need to be paying attention. Okay, he screws away. That guy screws away. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna tempt fate by doing anything aside from just continuing on this path. It's always scary because you just never quite know what's where. Yeah, so she's effectively dead ahead of us now. Like if we came to the left even just a little bit, yes, sir. No she'd course. be right in front of us. Yes, sir. We could slowly creep towards her. We've got merchant ships that are going to obscure our attack a little bit. And again, we're looking at about 3,500 yards. That's as close as we can. That's as far away as we can launch torpedoes and, and hit. I would like to be a lot closer than that because I would like to ensure hits. Um, not only would I like to ensure hits, but I would also like to uh, not waste torpedoes. I don't want to shoot a torpedo have her do this weird, you know, speed up, slow down thing. I just, we need, just need to catch her is all. So it looks like they're actually moving out. I don't think, uh, I don't think it's wise for us to continue on this path right now. Let's uh, let's turn out and away from this. What we'll do is we'll surface and we will we will re-engage this battle fleet. I just think it's going to be a much safer thing to do than to to try and and chase this. Oh, she's turned all the way back around. What is she doing? All right. Well, fine. Yes, sir. Because that's her right there. I mean, so straight ahead. She's 90 degrees off our, our front bow. We set a course for 334. That's it's not quite 90, but. She's like right back where where we left her. All right, well, again, destroyers are kind of lagging, so we'll just keep on keeping on, I guess.
She looks really like nose low in the water from this distance. She finally succumbing. That would be great. I'm going to go ahead and say no. She needs another torpedo and then she'll be dead. Where is she? Right there. So now she's actually... Now she's actually got the screws running, so... I wonder if that's her there? There's two of them really close to each other, so maybe not. You what? <laughs> she go under? No. That's her right there. Oh, holy crap. Yeah. This could be good. I mean, we're going to... We're going to keep our current pathing up. Bearing three, two, medium range. God, we are like right in the middle of freaking just two destroyers, though. Okay, so she's actually the set of screws. That's a destroyer. That's a destroyer. She's this right here that's no that can't be 1600 yards i mean yeah i guess that makes sense that guy is 90 degrees off my i don't think that's him i think that's him that's a little bit more realistic playing in, playing with third person view by the way is kind of cheating in this game cuz do quite a lot. Kind of not a fan of how fast she's moving right now. Of course, we're too deep to launch torpedoes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come to the right just a little bit. Maybe she'll. Maybe her rudder's jammed or something. I don't know. Nope. We had the opportunity there, but as you can see, some games you just don't play. Of course. <laughs> yes, sir. Rudder. Rudder. Yes, sir. Of course. Yes, sir. Ahead, fly. Yes, sir. Ahead, one third. Yes, sir. Back slow.
Yes, sir. Back emergency. <laughs> Interesting. Bearing three, two, eight, medium range. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. So for all that pinging, what did they do? Not a dang thing. Constant distance, bearing two, one, zero, short range. Yes, sir. Ahead, flight. Hard to board. They gonna roll any off or? What, are they like out of depth charges? I mean, it doesn't appear that they are. What's interesting is, is like this this task force has been here for so long. Yeah, let's just go ahead and and save that, shall we? Maybe they truly don't know where I'm at. They're just pinging. I don't know. He's not moving very fast. But that's no consolation given the fact that he's running in line with... Uh, where my where my ship is at effectively cuz i am there yes sir ahead flight he's going to drop Hard to board. yep pretty sure on that there they go now that's that's deadly Just Yes, sir. Do that one nine. Swing. Those sound like they're shallow, but No! Yes, turn that way. All I want to do is put a, put two more torpedoes into that Mogami. That's all I want. That's all I want. Will you poor, will you bastards just let me have that, please? I think we might be getting that. Oh. 
think how many times, how many, like... Okay, so we have an Otago that's just like... Mm, right there in front of us, right? Like, how tempting is that to put two into him and then try and arc two over to the to the Mogami, but... Ugh. I want that Mogami more than I want either of these two heavy cruisers. <laughs> it's just one of those moments when you're also like super glad that uh you're not uh <laughs> you're not at periscope depth and that the Otagos didn't carry depth charges or sonar for that fact <laughs> so i think what we're gonna do i think we're gonna get uh, a little bit further away from this otago uh, and I think we're gonna we're gonna risk the we're gonna risk the torpedo shot, I guess. Okay. So we're here. Hmm. A little bit further away. Yes, sir. All stop. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. Oh, here we go. All right, let's one more save. And let's see what we can accomplish. Because we are going to launch, and then we are going to dump and get the heck out of Dodge here. Okay. So we know he's going to be here. We know we are about this shot. We know his speed is fairly low. Stand by with that. We got to be pretty close to being at the right depth. It's too far. He's not quite there. <laughs> yes, sir. I had one yes, sir. That, my friend, is not going to help you. <laughs> Ooh, we got a dud. Well, hopefully the uh, hopefully. Oh yeah, she's down. <laughs> yep, there it is. I was going to say, man, we, we, we hit close enough to a previous hole that it didn't, that it didn't give us anything, but that's definitely going to be making some noise for a little bit. I am perfectly content. Good God, that's loud. Okay, so that's going to put all of the destroyers on like super high freaking alert. Yes, sir. So let's get the heck out of Dodge here. 
Let's use the, let's use our time advantage away from all these destroyers to get the heck away. Um, yep, we're we're at a pretty good pretty good angle here, with the exception of one destroyer directly ahead of us. Ah, oh, she rolled over. Yeah. I'm just trying to get below that thermal layer too, cause. Down she goes. Normally I wouldn't be this brazen with, uh... Yes, sir. All right, let's kill the screws. We've got plenty of forward velocity to hopefully carry us through this mess. So she's going down. Uh, that was... that was great. So we, we we actually hit her with five torpedoes, but only four detonated. What hashtag US life things. <laughs> they want us to inflict heavy casualties on this. I just don't know that that's going to be possible. There's just so many freaking ships here. Also, I have Mark 10s. They're really not that useful as far as torpedoes are concerned. I mean, I suppose I could try and sink one of the these Otagos. I mean... We have both of them here, right? Because we have two of these ships. That means, uh, you know, we're looking at Otago and Takao, or however the heck you say her name. So, uh... <laughs> yeah. I just don't know that there's going to be any way for us to sink anything more valuable, especially with now that we've pissed them off again. Again, no no rear torpedo tubes. Maybe I should have taken a pot shot. That was the Mogami exploding. Excellent. Maybe I should have taken a pot shot at the uh <laughs> at the Otago when I when I was passing by, but uh man, it's just it's just so risky. And you never know like these these torpedoes don't have the magnetic influence detonators. If you hit low on the keel, you could dud. There's just a lot of factors into that, and quite frankly, I just don't know that it's uh, worth that. So let's clear up some of this mess off of our board here. At this point, my focus is predominantly getting out of this mess. Because we, uh... <laughs> oh, there, that's a torpedo that's being loaded. Well, it would be if I was, uh, should probably load torpedo tube one instead of three, but whatever. All right. Contact, merchant. Moving away. Bearing. One, four, four. Short range. Yes, sir. New course. Two, eight, nine. Yes, sir. Yes. Actively ping all by where your sinking ship went down. My perfect plan. Contact. Warship. Closing. Bearing. Two, four, five. <laughs> Medium range. The heck is that? Is that a crate? Oh, it's a life raft that's apparently been damaged quite heavily. Did any of their crew survive? Yeah, there's a couple of them. <laughs> nice little oil slick there, courtesy of the Mark 10. I doubt that that Oh, it did that counted inflicting a heavy loss? Well, that's good. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna do a quick uh, sail back as soon as we clear from this area. We're gonna do a we're gonna clear from oh shit! <laughs> Look at that guy. Uh. Maybe we'll get lucky and. This guy will... Nope. 
not get excited about coming to find us. Contact merchant moving away. Bearing. No. Nine. Medium range. Of course not. We travel just close enough. To, it detects something. It doesn't know what depth I'm at. It doesn't know what speed I'm going. It might not even know that I'm actually here. It might just be on its patrol route. Oh, no. Now it definitely knows. So we are here. So the good news is if he starts, uh, tries to do a depth charge run, we can just, uh, well, we do need to be careful of his friends. All of his friends. That's what I was trying to avoid, if at all possible. Hmm. Merchant moving away. Bearing one, four, seven, medium range. So there is a distinct disadvantage to using your redders to try and avoid um, depth charges like this because you you like it for instance in the, these S boats. One, we don't have a whole lot of depth, so that's a huge disadvantage. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of depth to work with before we get to crush depth, but our underwater speed is three knots in head one third, which is our quietest mode possible. In general, this isn't an issue, but the minute you start turning, that starts to play into it now. Because now you, you're, you're losing some of that speed to turn the boat. And that makes it harder to escape from these guys. So the, if you can sneak away in a straight line, that's always preferred. But again, you also need to be extremely careful about sh like that. Yes, sir. Because if this a-hole decides to start charging forward. I mean, I could probably slow the... God damn, that's creepy. He's just like... It's also super dangerous. So we have a couple of different options here. We can we can set our screw yes, speed. Current speed. One. I mean, we'll we'll give it a shot. See what happens here. Yes, sir. Rudder. Rudder. We'll set our rudders amidship. We've set our speed to just one knot. We'll see if we can creep away with this. This is going to slow down our screws just that much more so that we can uh, avoid maybe some of the noise that they're hearing and just creep away nice and easy. That's the theory anyway. Once again, the problem is... is if he starts to if he starts to do kind of the hard charger thing, we're in for a real rough day because we're gonna have to we're gonna have to hit the flank speed and then pray to God that we can get away from him. I mean, we've been fairly lucky so far with their tor or with their depth charge runs being really far off. We just had that little bit of damage earlier, and um, thankfully nothing too major. Our goal is to get away from this. Our goal is definitely to get away from this alive. I would like to 
not only get away alive, but I'd like to go complete our mission objective. We're going to head back to Manila after we get away from here. And then we are going to rearm repair. That's first on the list. And then we are going to go out and finish our, our task. But it's just... Like I said, we're, we're just kind of... We're kind of in that holding pattern right now of just trying to creep away. This is how slow our screws are turning. Just very, very, very slowly. Moving away. Bearing. One, four, four. Medium range. Yeah, and at one knot, we're not making huge headwinds here. Bearing. <laughs> I mean... We're just barely getting away from these guys. Uh, yeah. But, as they say... Slow and steady does win races. Yeah, there you go. Drop depth charges up, like, while you're stationary. Super great idea. Nope. I think he's... We're going to be patient here, but... He's going to drop. Got a lot of hydrophone noise that's uh, going to assist with this a little bit, too. He's going to drop. Yes, sir. Ahead one third. Oh, no, he dropped. It's not, a, not very close to us, but with all the noise going on, so that guy, we're in that, these two's baffles, radio, hydrophone baffles. This guy might have an idea where we're at, but he's not going to be able to actually get to us. So we're limited to just six knots underwater now. And, uh, you know, at, at these speeds, it's very hard to get away from... A destroyer, which can obviously go significantly faster. So this guy, we're, we're, we're in his baffles because he keeps spinning up and shutting down. This dude, we're in his baffles now. That dude, we're in his baffles now. God, they're just sitting there. They're stationary. This AI is nothing short of impressive right now. Oh, they're peeling off. Excellent. Excellent, 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 excellent. Where the hell are they going, though? Oh, there's one there. Because of course there is. He's turning away, though. We're just going to keep, keep on creeping away from this task force. One little bit at a time. Are you serious? Oh, they're all coming hard. 
What caused it, though? Well, uh, they're, they're pursuing a little bit different course of action. <laughs> Jeez. This is not what I wanted, comrade. I did not want to, uh, two full episodes of us just essentially running away from destroyers. I was hoping to find some really nice and juicy targets, you know, that we could enjoy and... Drop, drop. Nope. Just making a metric shit ton of noise, though. They're definitely not out of depth charges. We're in that guy's baffles. That guy's coming yes, for us pretty hard. Yes, sir. I wish I had a noisemaker. That would make this perfect. If I had one noisemaker countermeasure, we would be out of here. Because these idiots would be chasing after that. Don't mind me, I'm just a little sensor ghost. Yes, sir. Current speed one. You cheeky bastard. It's going to be off to the side a bunch, so that's good. Yes, sir. I had one third. Current speed. Zero. The repair dude that's repairing while we're in silent running. Seems a bit odd, but you know, whatever. Just go away, Japanese destroyers. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just I'm just an aberration on your sensors. That guy's not gonna be able to get us. Goodbye. So long, farewell. <laughs> Get the hell out of Dodge. All right, well, that was an exciting little trip. Um, so we are just going to go ahead and head back to Manila now.
to rearm. Did say surface, right? I did. CO2 is going up, even though I'm on the surface. We also need to secure from battle stations. So this is actually a bug, if I remember correctly. So let's fix crew issues. Let's get people off to where they need to be. Sorry to this dude. <laughs> Sorry to all these dudes, too. Heal up. You need it. All right, so this is actually a bug. So I'm going to save and I'm going to reload this because the, the CO2 thing is actually a bug in the game. Go figure, right? A game that's been out for this long has bugs. Weird. So there we go. Batteries are... Oh, that's just... What? Yes, sir. I am really confused right now. What, if anything, is damaged so much that we are smoking? Okay, nothing. Well, that's good. <laughs> All right. Back to Manila. Let's go. Since we've got so much fuel, let's step it up to flank speed. Yes, sir. I don't know what... Oh. Well, apparently aircraft are extremely unhappy with the fact that I sank their Mogami in the area. <laughs> Current depth, four, zero. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> All right, so we we did a pretty good job of engaging that. So we will, uh, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna rearm here. Well, we were going to, but uh, apparently we need to sail a little bit further in. No, I definitely don't want to do that. I just want to rearm. That's all. There we go. All right. So when you're within certain, uh, when you're within certain distances of uh, bases, you can rearm and refuel, for lack of a better phrase. So we'll get that torpedo loaded up. We'll we'll rearm once again. To remain in port for at least four hours. Okay. So we'll just. All the machine is stop. I think we've hit the uh, four hour limit there. I've not been paying attention to the clock over there, but I'm pretty sure we got it. Okay, so let's turn this puppy around. Let's let's go actually accomplish our, our previous mission objective, which was to patrol the Luzon Strait. Um, that's an aircraft? aircraft yep. 
Interesting that enemy aircraft are spotted over Manila, you know. <laughs> would, would not have picked that out in a million years. Like, there's no Japanese fleet up here anymore. I wonder if that fleet is even still there. If it is, I mean, that's going to be kind... Are you serious right now? Yes, sir. Oh, hello. Ship spotted. Yeah. Oh, what? Well, quick. Start fixing me stoof. You know what? Uh, we should probably level off here to help out our our flooding. We are probably. <sighs> King repair shit. Preferably before game over. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna reload from that. And there's a couple of very good reasons for this. I I, I fully realized. Yes, sir. Ahead, standard. What is going on here? But uh. I just, it is a little on the annoying side to uh, be traveling along and then all of a sudden surprise enemy forces. <laughs> so we'll, uh, we'll continue on. We'll, we'll do. Ships are in shallow Bearing. waters, sir. Three. Three. One. Yes, yes, we are in fact in shallow waters. So we'll come over here and we'll get uh, rearmed. It's one other good reason to, uh, you know, lay down the quick saves. All right, so we are fully loaded up. Supposed to remain in port for four hours. We'll do that. That means our departure time is about five, and then we're going to go head off and do what we were originally planning on doing. And we're effectively there. Yeah. This time we're going to avoid ending up as uh, destroyer bait. Surprisingly, no aircraft on the return home there, <laughs> which is fine. But that was kind of BS. He got a lucky hit as we were submerging. And, well, we're just going to go ahead and say nope, because for whatever reason, the damage control parties weren't doing their jobs either, which is also really annoying. Yeah, damage control team. you got to actually remember to... You know, when I sign them, actually have them go and do their job. So there's some ships there. There's a convoy.
Take us down. With some gusto. <laughs> Preferably, before he sees us. Now it says task force. I'm guessing it's just two destroyers or destroyer and a sub hunter, which is for whatever reason considered a task force in this game. It's far enough away, though. Definitely don't have to worry about him. I see a destroyer. Akizuki. Ducky. And... Subhunter. And I bet this one over here is a subhunter as well. Yeah, for whatever reason, the game calls this a task force. Um, Current debt obvi obviously can be a problem, but uh, as long as we give them a wide enough berth, I think we'll be okay. Yeah. All right. So. Ship. Or we might intercept him. It depends on how fast that ship is going. Fox traffic received. Okay. Japanese troops have landed in Borneo. That's this task force. Had we made it to the Luzon Strait, we might have been able to, you know, influence that a little bit. So this ship we know is headed somewhere in that direction. Let's go straight north and then we'll kind of match up on his speed. Maybe we'll get lucky and run into him. Yeah, apparently not. Sometimes you'll run into ships like that, sometimes you won't. In this case, we didn't. Alright, now if I remember correctly, we have to, within a certain radius of this, we have to basically sink some ships in order to complete this, uh, this task. Because there's one where you have to stay within this little patrol area for a certain amount of time. Well, there's a ship. Let's see if we can maybe intercept him. Apparently not. That's unfortunate. Eventually, we're going to lose Manila and we're going to have a long freaking trip. Three. Is that a convoy? Holy crap. 337. It's protected. Three, three, seven. Maybe it's not. It's gotta be. Well, let's do this. Yep, that's what I thought. Yes, sir. Turn us straight south. So we know what direction he's heading. Okay, so we got some good targets in this fleet. Question is whether or not we're going to be close enough to any of them. 
Ho 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 yeah. So that's the lead destroyer in this. And we're 3,500 yards, give or take, on some of these targets. So... That guy is pretty juicy. Those guys are both pretty juicy. So let's uh, let's uh, ID both if we can. Merchants. We know he's got a single funnel. It is center mounted. No, he's bigger than that guy. So looking, could be a medium old split freighter. I don't think so. Let's keep looking. Mm, I don't think so. Definitely not a tanker. We know that for a fact. He might be a medium old. I don't know that he's that. I can't really tell. We just don't have quite enough yet to really get a good grasp on what he is. But I know the dude that's right there is a big guy. I have a feeling this is him. We're going to have to wait and see, how, you know, when they get a little bit closer, though. All right, so since we're planning this, we can go ahead and put these guys out. We know that the target's going to be roughly 2,300 yards. We know he's, when he gets to that point, he's going to be a 50 degree angle of the bow. So let's set that guy up. 50. I'm going to guess about 12 knots for right now. All right, let's... Oh, there's the destroyer. Yeah, we were pretty freaking close. I don't think that's the guy I'm looking at. The dude I'm looking at has got... The dude I'm looking at is this guy. Yeah. So I'm actually looking at this guy here. It's not going to change anything. Um, just means that we're going to have to find him quicker here. No, they're down. Yeah, medium old split freighter. He's not a huge target. What, what about his buddies here? I th we'll go ahead and we'll identify him. That would be a much better target in the back there. Looking for four, one, two, three, four masts. That's him. He's really not that much larger, though, when you think about it. <laughs> so let's factor in... Too far. And that's because I can't line up his, uh, not far enough. Generally, so the way that these, um, that's pretty good. Speed is too fast. As you can tell, I'm also not using... The problem is the mouse sensitivity is really freaking high and I'm not I don't have the resolution to You're supposed to put the the bottom of the You're supposed to put the that's as close as that's gonna ever get. Alright. Well, I think it'll be easier to set up oh wow. Okay, medium old composite no. It's got his things up. This guy, medium old split. That's not right. See, that's what I'm saying. This, 
the hard part about this is IDing the ships half the time. Is that our... Is that him? No. He's a, he's a medium. Medium old split. What? It's all European. Yep, that's what he is. It's behind him. This looks like another medium. So the juicy targets are really in the middle of all of this, or they're actually on the one end. On the far end, where I don't think I have enough range to actively engage them. Again, looking at 3,500 yards, I mean, it would be dang close. I might be able to get that guy if I were to actually hurry. All right, let's go with this dude. We know he's a... Large modern composite. Measure his distance. I can't remember if real fleet float. Blah. I did it again. Real. Yep, no. So one of the hard parts about this game is knowing exactly where you're supposed to line up the stat meter to get the most accurate range. So according to the real fleet boat manual, it's supposed to be. There we go. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. It's supposed to be the um, no. It's supposed to be set. That's pretty good. So how far away is he? 3,000 yards. All right, so let's do this. We're going to do... Three, one and a half. Firing tube two. Torpedo in the water. Yes, sir. New deck. One, seven. Torpedo in the water. These are going to be fairly long range shots, and I don't know if we're going to end up smacking one of these other ships in the process. It's highly likely. Which, you know, in and of itself isn't necessarily a bad thing. Current deck, six, zero. Current deck, Ooh. eight. Definitely going to get close. I think we're going to hit one. Torpedo impact. Oh, that might actually be exactly what we needed. Current deck, one, four, zero. Ooh. Get him. Oh! We might not actually kill two of them, but we might actually put uh, two of them... No, he's still turning. Yeah. We clipped one in the very, very back end. Did, did we kill the... Did we take his... Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he's still got a... Oh. Yes, sir. Periscope deck. Actually, no. Yes, sir. One, nine. Oh, that's the... That, that, that was the destroyers launching a, uh, launching a star shell. Oh, yes, that's very, 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 very entertaining. Thank you. So I don't think either one of those shots are going to be lethal. If it's going to be lethal to any of them, it'll be, it'll be lethal to this, this first one that we hit. Um, was that this guy? No, it wasn't this guy. Is this guy. If it's going to be lethal, if one torpedo hit's going to be lethal to any of them, it'll be lethal to this guy. It won't be lethal to the the ship that we hit on the other side, unfortunately. Um, the, the hope is, is that maybe, just maybe, those torpedoes hit an engine room of sorts, 
and then that will kill their forward velocity enough for us to actually finish them off. Convoys will, generally speaking, leave those ships completely. Um, they just uh, tend to leave them to die, which is perfectly fine by me. So he might actually be coming to a crawl here. We'll see. That that torpedo hit was fairly central. That might kill him. It, it's going to be slow. This dude, I don't think, was going to die, though, back here. I was hoping that maybe it hit far enough back that it would take out the both propellers. But as you can see, one is still turning, unfortunately. If we were a little bit more Johnny on the spot, we would have launched all four. We might have gotten uh, might have gotten another torpedo hit on at least one of them, maybe. I was really kind of hoping if I would have launched all four, we probably would have gotten three hit, three ship hits. Ship hits don't count for anything, though. Their escorts seem super interested in. Well, that's the one that's pinging away. Well, this guy's going to probably crawl along and live. Unfortunately, he'll be like the Mogami. This guy, that that one torpedo didn't even make him flinch. We took off a... We definitely slowed down the convoy on a hole. I mean, he's burning. Maybe we'll get lucky. We've seen this before, Whiskey. We know how this works. Unfortunately, because we didn't hit any of them enough to kill them, it just kind of ends up being a uh, meh. Ooh, Minikaze? Mutsuki? Um, no, it's a mini. She's got depth charges. She's not going... She's going to have to kick it into high gear if she wants to get some depth charges off. Again, quality of sonar gear. She's she's looking to the right. She's not... She's not expecting us to actually be behind her. Ooh. Dead in the water? Nope. Still, still got a screw turning. Other ones, you know, <laughs> just like nothing ever happened. <laughs> so dumb. So Minikaze. <laughs> the other one's completely trapped. Unfortunately, because we've kind of like activated them, now the uh, it'll take the AI a while to it'll take the AI a while to not only forget that I exist, but um, it'll take the AI a while to actually like return to a normal path. So now what they're going to do is they will uh, effectively just continue to zigzag. Because, you know, oh my god, we got torpedoed. And it didn't do enough to actually sink one of them. Woo! He's getting awfully low in the water, though. Maybe we'll get lucky and one that one torpedo hit will be enough to actually cause some... some damage. No, oh, of course. Yes, sir. Current speed one. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's an interesting little graphical oddity. Once again, I feel like having a sound decoy <laughs> would make all the difference in the world. So there's me right here. Yes, sir. Kaplunk, kaplunk. No, no. Well, well, what's the damn point? Eventually, these dudes will just go away. Warship moving away, bearing one, three, short range. <laughs> Yes, sail away. We're just going to keep sailing the current current direction that we are. Uh, this ship, um, you know, not doing so hot right now. <laughs> All it takes is for water to get uh, essentially to one of those ports into an opening. Oh. Oh yeah, she's she's going down, baby. Look at how quick that water is rising. She's going down. That's it. We got one lucky kill. We're going to get one lucky kill out of this whole convoy hunt. All by virtue, mind you. <laughs> nice. All 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 a uh, lucky hit for lack of a better phrase. I'm surprised we managed I mean, that's a pretty good hit, but man. Yeah, she's going to die here. Rip. Masts are underwater. The front end is going to be out of the water before too long. Oh, I love how these boats sink. It's just so cool. She did. I think that was the engine shutting off. Yeah, that's still creeping. Maybe we'll get like a Titanic. I, I, it's been a long time since I've seen the death animations on this game. I don't know if you get the Titanic sinking animations or not. It's a good question. It's a very good question. I just don't know. I don't know. Yeah, she sunk. Quit fighting. Look at how quick the water is rising. Look at the, the windows at the water level there. 
Water's above the porthole. Front of the ship is about to be out of the water. <laughs> You're not making it out of this one, buddy. How? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting the sounds. She's like hanging on for dear life. It's not going to give us the, the full on Titanic sinking, I don't think. Water is flooding too far forward too quickly. Just sink. Succumb. You can do it. I have faith in you. I have faith. I have faith. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's save this. He's definitely going down. Snap a quick screenshot here. Maybe. Kind of a lot of junk on here, though. It'd be nice to get rid of it all, but... Maybe we can put it over... Yeah, yeah we'll edit it out in post. So one of the destroyers has already given up. Looks like they've both given up. That's good. Especially since they left, you know, their homeboy over here to just die. I mean... Good God, he's hanging on for dear... There she goes. Now he finally got the, the kill credit. She's going down. <laughs> that is that is the collision sounds in this game they, they tend to be pretty extreme for whatever reason try and back away I don't know if it's a lifeboat that's colliding with it or what oftentimes that's the sound of like a lifeboat well there's something on fire there Or if it's one of these... Oh, yeah. It looks like it was a lifeboat. Yep. So when, when ships collide, it makes this horrendous noise. I don't know why, but it does. Yeah. They're going to give up here shortly. That's at least a good sign. Got to patrol the Luzon Strait. So not not entirely successful, not entirely unsuccessful either. Let's take this guy though. Let's extend his path. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to extrapolate a little bit more about what's going on with this fleet. Come up to periscope depth and contact warship yes, moving sir. away. Bearing one, four, six. Oh, two other ships sank. Wonder if those are the lifeboats. That's weird. I, I want, I don't think our, yeah. We're at 20,000 tons. That's just an unbelievable, uh, unbelievable amount of, <laughs> of tonnage to sink just right off the bat. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes, sir. Okay, how about we not be on the surface for these? Is 
I mean, what is it? What? Oh. No, 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 no. Yes, sir. Periscope depth. Let's go. So we know he's headed this way. Oh. That is a prize. That, my good friends, is what we've been waiting for. That's a troop transport. I don't know which one of these it is. I think it's one of these. So let's set up. He's going to be moving quick. These guys are usually pushing 18 some odd knots or so. Okay, so that, that speed is too quick. Uh, we'll try 14. Still too quick. 10 might be too slow. Ten actually looks pretty good. Oh, we got two funnels. Okay, so that's even bigger yet. That's one of these guys. That's probably really far out there. Okay, so it's not... Must be the top of the... Mast work then. Yeah. God, it looks like that's still too slow. Or too fast. Let's do this. We'll take another measurement here. And then we will see what it estimates the speed. Ten knots, that's what I've got selected. Let's go nine and a half, maybe nine. That seems more like more like it. So let's come to our attack map here. Thirty four degrees off the nose. Apparently, that's good. You need a little bit less distance. Too little. Oh. We are so going to pump. Let's see, we need, yeah, we need a left lead, so we're going to go, hmm, maybe there. I should have probably saved before I did that, but this is going to be an epic end to this. This. <laughs> what would be the odds, right? Current depth six zero. Current depth one two zero. Oh, beautiful. I think the first one might miss. 
But we got three others that are in the water at the same time. Current deck. One, four, zero. Yep, first one's gonna miss. Second one's gonna find home though. Look at that. Dunk. Dunk. This one. Great hits. Absolutely great hits. Yes, sir. Rig for silent running. Yes, sir. New deck. One, nine, six. Yes, sir. Rudder. Rudder. He ain't living through that. Yeah, he's dead in the water. So we just need to survive the destroyers. <laughs> this crew, we went from attacking one convoy to all of a sudden attacking this ship. And I just out of sheer luck ran into this, this large European cruise liner. It's about 9,200 tons. Great torpedo salvo that got lined up on it. Just perfect. Three torpedoes into her. She ain't gonna live. And if she, even if she does, she's basically dead in the water anyway. Passing thermal layer. Oh, that's, that's a relief. Make sure everything's as protected as it can be. <laughs> um, yeah, let's. Yes, sir. Rudder. 15 degrees to the right, and let's see what see if we can uh, kind of sneak on out of this area a little bit. She's going to be a slow to sink guy, though. I can just feel it. I mean, it is a passenger liner. We are firing some pretty weak torpedoes, but, uh, you know, who knows? Yeah, she's sinking slow. She's sinking by the stern, though? Weird. So we put two torpedoes up front. <laughs> one out back. But apparently the one out back must have breached, like, seven compartments or something, because it's, it's, it's sinking by the, by the back of the boat. I mean, it's a little even, but it's not that even. It's so weird. Some of the some of the sinking mechanics in this game aren't uh, super elaborate. That's probably one of them. Be fun to watch. Yes, sir. Speed zero. I think this is another uh, Minikaze. Yeah, that other one wasn't a Minikaze. I don't know what, what class that was that had the torpedo tubes up front. I guess I could look. So while we're, while we're waiting for the Lusitania to sink here, I guess we'll look at the uh, Japanese destroyers and become better acquainted with the one that I thought it was. Wasn't a Mutsuki. I'm Minikaze. Hatsaharu? No, because it had a forward mounted torpedo tube. Fubuki, Asasio. So it had to have been. Maybe it was Mutsuki. I guess that would make sense. It means January in Japanese, if I remember. Going from memory. I don't exist. I'm a leaf on the wind. <laughs> oh, yes. Talk about weird luck. So this game has a way of doing this. 
I, I, I remember I was uh, stalking a convoy and a task force happened to join up with it. And the task force happened to have Akagi and um, Soryu in the, in the fleet. And it also had, I think it was one of the Congo class battleships. It had it in there as well. And I was like, oh, man. And I was in one of the late war U.S. submarines and I had six torpedo tubes up front and four out back. So I set myself up so that they passed basically to my right side. And I got two torpedo hits on Akagi, three on Soryu, and then the four torpedo tubes in the aft all landed on on the, one of the Congo class battleships. And I got two carriers and a battleship all in one salvo. It's pretty epic. I was feeling pretty dang good about myself that day. As long as this destroyer continues to be a potato. Yep, keep doing that. Ooh. She is kind of... I'm legit surprised that the rudder is still hard full right rudder. I would expect that there would be a full left rudder there at some point in time. <coughs> Interesting gl graphical glitch there. You'll note that uh, this one doesn't have any deck guns on it, so if the two destroyer escorts decide to leave it for dead and it doesn't sink, we'll pop up and finish it with a deck gun. However, I'm not sure it's going to be necessary. We've got deck f water flowing over the deck. Looks like it's creeping up ever so slowly there. Hmm. Apparently I can only see see myself in the water at night. It's unfortunate. <coughs> also having some interesting graphical glitches there. Oh, excellent. Yes, go that way. Having some excellent graphical glitches with the smoke. Light screws, huh? Yep, she's she's gonna she's gonna go under. She might not roll though. We get the water climb up the deck. You can either see it at the ladder or the railing or the the tie points of the I guess those are intakes. How many souls are on board one of these things? I'm guessing at least 2,000. Might have delayed the invasion of, uh, you know, Manila for one more day. <laughs> Maybe not. Most likely not. This game does... It, this game doesn't have a dynamic campaign. Like, you can't stop certain events from happening. You can definitely influence them further. But, like, for instance, Battle of Coral Sea. You know, you're not going to stop the the uh, Lexington from getting sunk. That's just not going to happen. <laughs> was it the Lexington? I don't. Maybe I don't. Know, maybe maybe I'm getting them backwards. I think it is Lexington that gets sunk. You're not going to stop any of the historical ships from getting sunk except for during their time frame. What is interesting though, um, in the default game, I haven't I haven't played too much attention paid too much attention to it with real fleet real fleet boat um but the yamato class you can actually sail into tokyo harbor and sometimes it'll be there and you can sink multiples of them uh, it's extremely hard to get into the into tokyo bay though like extremely hard Oh my oh uh, Shinduru <laughs> Did he just like limp forward? 
No, he dead in the water. It's not sinking very fast presently. Is getting there though. Need the destroyers to lose all interest. They're not even. Uh... <laughs> yes, sir. They're they're not even. Uh, there's not even sonar going on. That's pretty crazy. That's real crazy. Well, we're a little bit further along. Again, weird that it was sinking by the, the stern at first. It is still sinking a little bit by the stern. It could sink faster, though, and I wouldn't complain. Yes, sir. I'll stop. I'll stop. Yes, sir. Eh, let's keep moving third. forward. The last thing I want to do is not be moving. I don't, want, I don't want to kill all forward momentum in case this destroyer f somehow decides to find its sonar. Yes, sir. Let's turn to the right and let, let, let's do try and get away from him as best we can, though. There it goes. Yes, sir. That's what we were looking for. She held on for a little bit. Still turning. I like playing it in this th this third person view. I like ex inspecting my work. I love watching the 3D views and stuff like that. I, ju I just, I prefer that. Like, this isn't the true hardcore mode. Like, hardcore mode is fully about, uh, you know, limiting the thir third person view here to not be able to do what I'm doing. Because what I'm doing does give you a distinct advantage. This isn't the hardest way to play this game. The hardest way to play this game is not to have anything to do with anything else. Uh, 3D model except for the interior of the boat unless you're on the surface and then you can stand up on the bridge or the deck gun but totally 110% sketch doing that in my opinion I just I, I play this game for fun not for realism I play GCS world for fun not entirely for realism although I do appreciate the amount of realism that's in it oof <laughs> Just give up already. You're already dead. Just give it up. It would be cool if this also titanic Like, you know, nose up and then broke in half, but... Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. And there's the kill credit. So we are up to... 29,000 tons on our first patrol. <laughs> uh, we've been getting extremely lucky, that's for sure. But... Since we're not being pinged by anybody else, I think we'll, uh, I think we'll go ahead and we'll call this one here. Uh, we'll pick it up and we'll keep on going, provided you guys like this kind of uh, thing. If you like it, let me know down in the comments. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I'm Whiskey11 signing us out of the Gaming Lounge. Have a good night.